Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm back out at the Barite, north of Grand Junction, but in a little different area. So, uh, on the other side of that hill over that way, that's where I've normally been going, but I decided to instead come down a road right here that I haven't been on yet that I kept eyeballing going, I want to try that sometime. And so the Barite concretion things look like they're about halfway through right here. You can probably see one on the top right there. And they kind of come through over here. So I'm just going to kind of walk around a little bit and get to know this area. Uh, I might drive up further. We'll see. But I'm going to start kind of looking over here and then maybe wander over that way. Who knows? See if we can find any good bear, bearite specimens today. I can't talk. Anyway, here's the GPS to where I'm currently parked. There you go. Okay, let's get out of there, see what we can find. Okay, I'm on this lower hill right here. Now that we're closer, you can see them a little better, right? You got your Grecian there, you got one over there. And here, this hill has a bunch of the stuff coming out of it. You can see a lot of calcite here. So this could be a good spot. Don't really see a, a good source of where it's coming out, but it might be worth going into right here. So I poked around just a little bit. It didn't feel good. I didn't really see any good nodule-like shape, the good spherical, well, you know, the rounded shape. Came over here, a lot more calcite coming out right here. It's like somebody dug here at one time. But see this? This is a little bit more of the shape we're looking for. So I think we're gonna try and dig into that. So I dug this out right here, and this is uh, where somebody had dug in the past. So they must have had a small one here. It wasn't really very big. So I started working my way here and this feels like it could be something. And then we had a nice little gap right here. So I'm excited. That could very well be part of, yeah, concretion here that hopefully, maybe we'll find something here besides calcite. Okay, I started pulling down this wall and the piece I pulled out right here, it's got a nice vein of calcite on that. Look, definitely thicker than most of what I've seen so far. And that vein is going right here. And then we're also getting a little vein here. So let's hope in this area, maybe be right. Or maybe further that way. Vein of calcite. 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 Maybe got a little bit of crystal base on that. One thing we're not really getting is that kind of dark red. That, that red color that usually is associated with it. So, uh, but as long as we're getting some decent veins of calcite, we'll keep chasing it for a little bit. Oh. Little crystals on it, but I'm not sure if any of that's buried. It might all be calcite. Hmm. I'll take that home and wash it off. And if it has barite in it, I'll show you. Oh. Now that's Barrett, and that was down here. That came out of here. I can feel the weight on that thing. You can't really see anything, but you can feel the weight. That's definitely Barrett. So I sprayed it off a little bit. There you go. There's some Barrett. It's uh, several little kind of terminations. It's not terribly clear, but it's Barrett. Need to start making my little pile somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bags are usually a good spot to, to start piling them up. There we go. Might have some barite in it. That's barite. I can feel. Okay. Grab all these barite pieces that are coming out right here. So yeah, there's like a vein of barite that was across like this. And it's just coming out in pieces. And we'll wash them off to see if there's any good ones. So you can see I pulled out lots of chunks with barite. Um, these are calcite for what I can tell, but I'll check them cl closer later just to make sure. And it looks like the barite vein is kind of going off in this direction. I moved this rock and the barite seems to be still here. It just looks like a rock, but that's a heavy chunk. That's barite. <laughs> we'll get it home and get it washed off, see if there's any cool crystals on it. It's a chunk though. Just pulled this out, it has a bunch of calcite on it and the color's getting better. 
We're definitely finding more of the color we're looking for, those reds. And can't see any barite on it. Yeah, it seems like the barite I did have right here has kind of disappeared now. So I need to uh, just keep digging and see if we can get into... Oh, wait, nope, there's some more of it. <laughs> okay. It's right in the back there. Look at that. Look at that beautiful barite shape right there. And that just came out of this vein part right here. So I was, I was prying these apart, and that popped out there. So I'm going to slowly grab things out of there, see what we got. Oh, yeah. That barite right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll get these all washed off when I get home. Oh, yeah. See, this is a vein of the barite with some crystals just kind of stuck along the edge. Nice. There's one. There's one. They're very hard to tell when they're dirty, but now that I know I'm in a vein, I just pull everything out that I'm like, yep, that looks like some of it. Yep, that looks like some of it. So as I was trying to pry it off, this front part pulled off first. And remember, the vein of Barrett was here, so I knew there was some along the edge here. And look at all that Barrett underneath it. Also, this piece got some Barrett there. Cool. There we go. Got it all put in the container. There's quite a bit of it. Don't know how much of it will actually end up being good. But we still got more going that way. There's probably still some more down here at the bottom. So I'll keep pulling it out. If I find anything like really good, I'll bring you back in and show you. All right, just to catch you up, I removed all this. Didn't find any barrett going that way. Removed this, and there was a barrett vein under it and probably dipping down. And there's a big chunk of the vein right there. The rest I put in the bucket. So I found the edge of it. This is all dirt down here going under it. So this is the edge of it going like that. So the main mass of it goes that way. And the barite was, once again, kind of right along the edge of it. I find that commonly, where the barite tends to form near the edge of one of these. I mean, sometimes you get it right down in the middle of it, but quite often I feel like they form more toward the edge. Hmm. Interesting. That's a lot of calcite. I've been pulling tons of calcite out. Yeah, the barite kind of disappeared. We'll keep digging for a bit, though. All right, so I dug a whole bunch. We're at the bottom of it, so there's no more going down. It's just kind of going that way a little bit and that way. And it doesn't look very good to me. Not seeing a lot of the calcite anymore. So I think that was probably the main spot. If there is more barite, it'll be back in that way. But yeah, I think I'm good here with this spot. Found a good amount of stuff. You can got multiple rocks here with barite on them. All right. Um, I'm going to go explore elsewhere. Here's a little piece of barret on the surface. It has a few crystal faces to it. Yeah, I'm just over, I was just digging right there. There's lots of calcite coming out in multiple places all over. It's probably several small ones all over the place here. I could probably just I started trying to dig right there. I could probably just dig in lots of places and might run into some barret. Maybe I'll just stay on this hill. There's another barret crystal. It's the tip of one. Really cool. Found it right here. This is looking really good. You got the right color. It looks like somebody dug here, but at the same time, maybe didn't finish digging? Hmm. All right, I poked around a bit. I did find a few little loose pieces here and there. Um, I dug a little bit just to see if any of them looked like ones that still had stuff going. This place has been dug. You can see where people have dug. And decided to uh, go ahead and head back to the vehicle because I wanted to go back over to the area where it's got that big one that, that Eric found that we dug into a bit. I wanted to see if somebody's dug into it and see how it looks now and maybe even dig in it myself. I don't know, but I've, I've been wanting to go check it out. So I'm gonna head over there and let's see what's happened since I was there last. We are approaching the hole. Let's see how it looks. I would say that is pretty much how I left it. I don't think anybody's been here. Okay, another one down here. I don't remember if I went that far, so maybe somebody dug a little further that way. 
I did pull this out. It was loose just sitting there. And look, there's a little bear right there and there. It has bear right on it. Well, if we can find out where that was, let's go that way. Maybe it fell off the roof here. Okay, now that I'm down in here, that looks like barite. It's got the darker color. Maybe some crystal faces there. That may be where it came off of here. I think yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it can still just be calcite. Hmm. Maybe I'll try in that way a little bit. Yeah, I dug into it a bit. Also dug around a little bit. Found lots of calcite again, but no barite. I think I'm gonna stop there today with digging in the hole. And maybe just go do a little bit of surface collecting for a little bit, and then probably head out. It's starting to get pretty warm. Found an old dig right here, picked this up. Got some barites in there, they're broken. We'll see what we can salvage out of it. Okay, I got everything washed off. I'm just gonna show it all at once. So we have here kind of the bigger pieces. Now, they didn't really look nice. There weren't any really good crystals on it. These are just like big pieces with vein all over. So for example, like that, see, it's the barite. You can see kind of that brownish color. It's kind of nice and shiny, it's heavy, but pretty much everything in the bucket looks like that or worse. <laughs> Moving over here, here's all the little stuff. And as you can see, I got lots of little stuff, lots of little partial crystals. As you can see, like that, that one and that one. This one, I believe, was mostly terminated. Yeah, sorry, too close. <laughs> yeah, see, it's mostly terminated, a little damaged. This one, again, a partial crystal, still kind of nice. But other than that, it was mostly just pieces, just pieces that are mostly just the thick vein. So just kind of go over. Yeah, the numbers in the tray, I, I used this tray originally for a, a thing I did with the family. That's why there's numbers in it, but it was empty. So I just used it to put everything in really quick It's got some crystal faces on it, too Nice. So yeah, that's that's what mostly turned out lots of little broken ones Very few that had any terminations, but overall it's still really cool because this is a lot of barite <laughs> It is a lot of barite and I'm back at the vehicle. Oh, it is getting too hot. It's still summer. <laughs> Can't wait for fall to come. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. There was some great stuff. Uh, that very last one that you saw me pick up, there were a few more barracks that I picked up, but they were like broken and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. And remember, there is treasure everywhere.